I'm Natalia Hepworth here at the largest llama ranch in Idaho where they breed and sell pack llamas. I met him and he said, if you want to get married, I'm going to have llamas. And I said, okay. That was four years ago when Kirsten Beatty's husband said she would have to be willing to keep a small pack of llamas. Now they have nearly 70 here at their Rexburg farm. The car llama um, originated from the Inca over 6,000 years ago and they used them for packing. And they still are. Along with breeding and selling, Beatty rents llamas out for camping or hunting trips. Uh, we like to go out and backpack and hunt, move light and fast and get up high. And llamas enable us to hunt where we want to hunt. The classic llamas Beatty and Gunderson breed aren't for wool, but for height, stature and ultimately packing. Packing is something that has gotten to be more popular in the mountains. Llamas versus horses, um, they have their, their upsides and they have their downsides just like horses do. You can't really find classic llamas around anymore. The more we looked for llamas, the more we realized there wasn't any. So we started breeding them. In the United States, and importing from other countries is actually not allowed anymore. So llamas can go out of the United States, but not in. So we're here trying to keep the breed alive. The herd continues to grow with 20 babies expected next year. Breeders hope as they grow, they'll be able to involve the community more in learning about this unique animal. Our goal is to promote llamas to people, get other people interested in them, and help to save, save car llamas. Reporting from the Wilderness Ridge Trail Llamas Ranch in Rexburg, I'm Natalia Hepworth, eastidahonews.com.